Welcome to Moon Mondays. Hello. So the example I want to give happens when a woman is getting ready for the party. She wants to make herself beautiful. She's putting on her makeup, she's taking her time, she's thinking, I've got to look hot for my husband or my partner. And he's downstairs doing this. <laughs> Hurry up! Get down here! And she's up there starting to feel frustrated. She comes down the stairs and he's giving her half as soon as she comes in, comes down the stairs. What you need to do, guys, is recognize how beautiful she is. She needs a compliment from you. That one compliment is worth a hundred compliments from anybody else. I started wondering why I was having these dreams. And I started examining my dreams and started doing dream analysis. Then I started realizing that these bears and wolves and snakes actually represented people in my life. And those representations were actually, they actually represented the abusers in my life. And I started realizing, because I was a trauma survivor, I started realizing that these dreams were actually helping me to heal. And this guy, he grabbed me again and he threw me out onto the street. He threw me underneath this, the wheels of a big giant truck, and this truck screeched to a brake. And I looked up, I could just see this engine, and it's, everything was fire hot. My arms were burning. And uh, I really couldn't believe it all. And then, just when I thought I was going to die, you know, it's like I started sliding out. It was so James. Me out. I moved out at the young age of 12 due to some struggles and hardships at home. I shuffled around living in about 30 different homes and sometimes home was on the streets, sometimes it was with complete strangers. And also, at the young age of 15, I became a mom. So from those struggles and many other struggles sprouted empathy, forgiveness, and mostly love. And so we arranged, the hospital that I was working at arranged to fly him from Israel to South Africa so we could collect his bone marrow. And on the way from the airport to the hospital in South Africa, in Johannesburg, he was killed in a car accident. And you can't collect bone marrow from a dead person. You can collect organs like liver and, and kidney and what have you for organ transplants, but you can't collect bone marrow. And as a result, she died six months later because we couldn't transplant her. And the parents of those two children were the most amazing human beings I had ever met. And despite having lost both of their children, they had this roi de vivre and the sense of life that was unbelievable. And because of them, I changed my career path, gave up my interest in neurology, and decided I wanted to become a hematologist so I could get involved in the business of bone marrow transplantation and stem cells. Uh, and guys, that actually brings us to the end of the evening. Do we have a next time? <laughs>